Lactic acid with a normal level of 0.3 to 2.6 is a lab that is drawn often when we may suspect that a patient may be septic. So if a patient comes in with a temp of 100.2, their blood pressure is liable or their blood pressure is 70 over 30, um, and they're not very uh, responsive, we might suspect that the patient may have sepsis. So what we'll do in that instance is we'll run a lactic acid level. So our, like I said, our normal level is 0.3 to 2.6. And the main indication for this is really what we're doing is we're evaluating tissue oxygenation. We're trying to figure out, do our are tissues able to get the oxygen they need to carry out metabolism and to get uh, energy. So really lactate or lactic acid is a byproduct of anaerobic metabolism. Okay, anaerobic metabolism means it's metabolism without oxygen. Okay, where normally what our cells do is they use aerobic metabolism to break down glucose for energy. Um, so normally the, the cells have oxygen available and that oxygen is used to break glucose down and produce ATP. But what can occur if our body doesn't have the oxygen that it needs is it converts to anaerobic metabolism. And the byproduct of that is lactic acid. And as that, la as that acid builds up, our body becomes more acidic. You know, our pH drops um, and we, be we become very acidic. And so really that's the byproduct of that. And so what we're really doing is we're, we're investigating why is the patient acidic, number one. And then we're also investigating, okay, does is the patient using anaerobic metabolism to try to create energy and is that why they're getting all this buildup of lactic acid so really what we're trying to find out is is there oxygen available and are the tissues able to use the oxygen as they need to in order to carry out metabolism and that's really what we're looking for here and that, that can happen a lot in sepsis where the body will switch to an anaerobic state so some of the conditions that would cause an elevated lactic acid level would be shock, uh, sepsis, like I just said, tissue ischemia, the tissues aren't able to use oxygen or the tissues aren't getting oxygen, carbon monoxide poisoning, lactic acidosis, diabetes mellitus, uh, especially if we go into DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis, uh, heart failure, pulmonary edema, strenuous activity. And what would cause decreased levels? Well, honestly, we're not really looking at decreased levels of lactic acid. What we're really concerned about is, is our lactic acid getting up too high? Okay, so we can have elevated lactic acid levels as we work out. We can produce some lactic acid. But what we're really concerned about here with these patients are, are these shock patients or these septic patients or these patients with severe ischemia or like our DKA patient, you know, where they're not able to use uh, energy or they're not able to produce energy as they need to. Okay, so they switch to this anaerobic metabolism uh, phase and they're, they're using they don't have the oxygen they need to produce energy and to carry out metabolic processes in the body. All right, so that's lactic acid. When you think lactic acid, what I want your mind to automatically do is I want your mind to think of oxygen and metabolism and how much we need oxygen to survive. Uh, and that's where your mind really needs to go is, is over to oxygen and what happens if we don't have oxygen. It's not good. And that's going to cause a buildup of lactic acid.